I'm Shelly Gray and today I want to discuss with you the importance of using a tool like the beaded number line or the bead string in your math classroom. So first of all, how to make these very inexpensively. You could buy one at a, or buy a set at a teacher supply store or online, but I made this one very inexpensively with some uh, elastic craft rope and pony beads that I ordered online. So that's definitely an option. You make 10 groups of 10 so that it's a hundred bead string altogether. Now I want to talk to you about how we can use the bead string before we transition to the open number line. So we know the importance of number lines and open number lines and we know the power of them in the classroom. However, that's sometimes where we start when we're explaining concepts. And when we start with an open number line or a number line, we've actually skipped a step because this is a representation of what we want our students to do. However, we need to start in the concrete phase. And the concrete phase is when our students can actually handle mat materials and, and work with them and explore and investigate with them. So here's what we might expect our students to understand when we explain using a, using a model like this. We might expect them to know that we could add one more to make 10 and then we could add three more to make 13. So we're just expecting them to understand that concept of taking one from the four, giving it to the nine to make 10 and then using those three leftovers um, to make 13. However, that's a really hard thing to comprehend and it's a hard thing to see in your head when you have nothing to connect it to. Now, if you are not working with low numbers in your classroom, obviously you could substitute these for higher numbers. Now let's take a look at what a difference it might make when we use a beaded number line. So here we can ask our students to show nine plus four on the beaded number line. Now here we show, we, we have nine on one side, four on the other. Now what do you see here? Well, it's really apparent that to add nine plus four, we would start with nine, add that one more to make 10, and then we have just those three whites left over to make 13. So this is the precursor to this because it helps give our students a visual and it helps give them something to, to connect to, something to build those connections in their mind before we get to this point. Now, obviously addition, subtraction, this is amazing, but you can even use it for multiplication. Um, or division for that matter. So I just wanna show you a really quick way that we might use a beaded number line for multiplication. So let's say we begin with, I'm gonna begin with the number line actually. If we want our students to show four times five on the beaded number line, they can easily show that like this. So we've used some clothespins to, to mark off those numbers and we can easily see 5, 10, 15, 20 on the beaded number line. Now, what else do we see here? We can see that um, four groups of five is the same as two groups of 10. We could see that three groups of five plus one group of five makes four groups of five. We could see that four groups of five Subtract one group of five makes three groups of five. There is so much learning on this beaded number line. Now, since we've built this in a concrete way, now we can represent it on maybe with some skip counting. Maybe we might um, do something like this. And now where we see that the four jumps, uh, four jumps of five, makes 20. So after we've worked considerably with concrete materials and then with representational um, drawings or representations, then we move into the abstract. So don't rush this process. Sometimes when we learn new operations and especially in older grades where we kind of feel sometimes like we're past manipulatives, your students are not past using manipulatives manipulative, sorry, I'm having trouble with that word today, uh, to build relationships. Taking the time to work with, with tools like the beaded number line or the wreck and wreck, which I'll discuss in a different video, are going to pay off because it's going to give your students those visual representations now that they can see because they've actually gotten the opportunity to work with them and to explore. 
So how might you get started using these in your classroom? Sometimes teachers are intimidated because they honestly don't know what to do with them in the classroom. Well, don't be intimidated. I think if you can find 10 minutes in your day to give your students each a beaded number line and maybe a few clothespins and then ask, ask them two questions. What do you notice about the beaded number line? And what do you wonder about the beaded number line? And just let them explore and let them build those connections on their own without you telling them what connections they need to be building and just see what they come up with. So that's my challenge for you this week. If you have these in your classroom, do that exercise with your students. If you don't have these in your classroom, you might wanna think about maybe um, finding some materials and, and getting a class set in your classroom to help your kids see the math. Thank you so much. Have a great day.